Honourable Mr Simpson has a point of order. Um, presiding officer, we are in a difficult situation in the sense that we are now being invited to have one of the parliamentary committees consider a motion which you have declared is illegal or not competent. Uh, and I wonder whether it is practical and possible for you, presiding officer, to consider suspending your ruling in that matter until the committee have had time to consider it, at which point, of course, you would be perfectly entitled to reimpose your ruling, but it would allow the committee to consider the matter unfettered, unhindered, and not under a ruling from you that what they were discussing was actually not competent. Can I say, Dr Simpson, you are factually wrong. What the committee is discussing is a policy memorandum and that no, in no way impinges on the ruling that I have made. Finley, you have a point of order. Fine, officer. At topical questions, the Cabinet Secretary for Fair Work said she was disappointed with the Parliament's view on the decision to reject the legislative consent memorandum on the UK Government's trade union bill. The Parliament has not expressed a view on the legislative consent memorandum. So I wonder if there will be an opportunity for the uh, Cabinet Secretary to say whether she agrees with Scottish Labour that your ruling on this that matter... That is not a point of order, I, I, Mr I'm coming, to, I'm coming to the point. Will you get to the point of order, please? I believe that after, so far, I have not heard the point of officer, order. I believe I have up to three minutes to make my point of order. Please um, come to it. Uh, if the Cabinet Secretary will be able to express her view as to whether your ruling is wrong. And finally, could I ask that I understand that you have legal advice on this matter. Would you kindly publish that legal advice? No, in common with other presiding officers, I have absolutely no intention of um, producing the advice that I may or I may not have been given. And whether the Cabinet Secretary is disappointed by the ruling, that is a matter entirely for her, and I do not intend to ask her uh, to say any more. The next item of business is a debate on motion number 15. Okay, McIntosh, point of order. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Can I ask for your guidance, Presiding Officer? Can I ask the, for your guidance? Let's hear, let's hear the member. Can I ask for your guidance, Presiding Officer? Can I ask for your guidance, Presiding Officer, on the standing orders, how they allow members from this Parliament to question any guidance that you might have been given and then give the Chamber? Is there a procedure under which we can challenge the competency or other competency of the guidance you have been given? And if so, do members have up to three minutes, as I understand they do, to make a point of order? It is certainly true that members have up to three minutes uh, to make their point of order, but what I need to know, first of all, is what that point of order is. Well, sit down, Mr Bibby, I'm speaking.